Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen. It is time for my MTV Slam. Uh, this is for the month of June. This is called, this is a mystery tackle box. If those for those of you have who have not seen it or never heard of it, it is a subscription-based company. And for roughly twelve to fifteen dollars a month, uh, they send you a box of tackle and uh, just new things to try out and things like that. Uh, for your first month, you can get it for four ninety-nine, and I'll put the code right up here for you to be able, you know uh, so you know what that is. But um. But they send you uh, send you about twenty to twenty five dollars worth of tackle, uh, usually a good a couple of good hard baits um, uh, or jigs or things like that, and then uh, three or four bags of soft plastics, um, you know, sample packs of soft plastics. It is a phenomenal way to try new baits that you've never tried before, and um, and to really gain confidence in things that you would have never thought of, uh, you know, of of fishing. So what I've done is I've taken this idea of doing an unboxing and I've, and I've kind of kicked it up a notch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this box right here on the boat. I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to open it up on the boat. I'm going to take it and tie it onto some rods and I'm going to go and see if I can catch a fish uh, on each bait that's in the box. Um, this will be my fourth month doing this. And uh, I've done okay so far. I just haven't caught them on all of them. So let's see if today's the day. It's... Um, Late June right now, uh, really, really hot. Water temperatures in the high 80s. Uh, fish are really deep, so I'm hoping I'm out here early enough with this cloud color cover. If I get anything that I can run shallow, I'll be able to find something shallow. But anyway, let me open it up and show you what it is. Oh. All right. Got my hand wet. <laughs> Oh, cool. First thing I noticed, well, let's get the card out so I can kind of, in the box, they send you a little card that des it describes, you know, tells you what the retail price is of all these baits and, and just kind of gives you a description of all of them. And the first thing I noticed was this little Freedom, um, Freedom Tackle Corporation's uh, little Zodiac uh, jig head. These are pretty cool. Um, I, uh, I ran into these guys at the Bassmasters Classic this last this last year, this February, um, in a booth, and he kind of showed me what it is. Uh, it's a jig head with a, uh, a little, it's kind of hard to show, but it's a little hook in there, and you can change the, or a little uh, um, loop in there, and you can change the hooks out. You know, it's got these little drop shot hooks in there right now. These are a half an ounce uh, little jig heads, but you can take and just for the little pop and a twist, that hook comes right out. And you can replace it with any hook you want. And I'm going to replace it with a bigger, bigger hook. Uh, it's a half ounce. The fish are probably going to be deeper this afternoon, so uh, I want to uh, fish a bigger worm. So I'm going to put a, 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 a probably a wide gap or something, some type of a worm hook on there, and throw a, a, one of the soft plastics that's in the box. But anyway, so that is the Zodiac from uh, the Freedom Bait Corporation or Free, Freedom Freedom Tackle Corporation. So, pretty cool little deal. They have all kinds of different jig heads. I know they have a, um, they have a football head. Uh, they have a couple of other uh, deals. I've never tried them. I've got, I bought some from them at the Classic and put it in a box and haven't tried them yet. So this will give me a chance to do that. Um, a crankbait. I never heard of this company. Canaan, Canaan Lures. Um, it uh, retails for $6.95. It's the Alosa Minion. Uh, it looks like a shallow running crankbait, a little square bill. That ought to be interesting. I probably have to throw that to start with early this morning. Uh, the little Zodiac hybrids are six dollars and forty-nine cents a pack. Comes with four hooks and those two little jig heads. Um, okay. The third one is the KVD Perfect Plastics uh, Game Hog. Just a um, just a brush hog type bait. I will be Carolina rigging that today. So that's that. It's in um, green pumpkin, black with red flake. Okay. The next one is the Z-Man sawtail worm. This is kind of like a gator tail worm or, you know, and you guys know, if you know anything about the Z-Man baits they're that elastic so they're stretchy and they last a long time on the hook and they're you know you, you can fish with them for a long long time and catch a lot of fish on them so i'll be carolina rigging that our fish right now or have been pretty deep you know 
14 to 25 feet deep, 26 feet deep. So I've got to think deep today. Uh, the next is the uh, Gambler uh, TZ Swimmer. It's a three pack, three inch, chartreuse and white. This may be my nemesis today, but a uh, little bitty thing. I could drop shot it, I guess. Uh, it's got a paddle tail, so I kind of, I don't know. I'll have to see what I can do with that. It's, it's small. I've got a three-pack of that, but that retails for $4.69. The Z-Man stuff is $5.49, and the KVD is $4.49. So, you know, pretty good stuff. Oh, and here's uh, Invisa Swivels. Now, I've been looking at these for years and never used them. Um, they're, uh, they're, you know, one's clear, one's red. Of course, this is a sample cat pack, and it's just a swivel, just like anything else. Um but uh, it's made of plastic, so it's not as visible. Um, I'm gonna put this on my Carolina rig, see how it works. It's a 35 pound test uh, swivel, or at least this one is, and I'm pretty sure they come in extra different sizes. Uh, retails for $5. And um, I don't know, I have to look at those and figure them out. But I'll throw that on a Carolina rig, just to say I used it. And that's it. Well, let me tie these on some, uh, <laughs> On a couple of rods, I'll probably only have two or three rods on the boat, but I'll tie them on some rods and, uh, and go fishing, see what happens. All right, let me show you what I've done. Um, first of all, the little Gambler, Gambler TZ swimmer, I put it on a drop shot. So just in case I see something under the boat, I can drop down on it. I'll have that one locked and loaded the whole time. Uh, my Carolina rigged the, uh, the Z-Man um, Sawtails worm. Uh, this is a watermelon red, which is a good color right now. Water's pretty clear. Um, and let's see, Carolina rig. Oh, and on that Carolina rig, I've got that little, uh, that little Invisa swivel, 35 pound test Invisa swivel. It's a pretty cool little deal. You, you got it. Uh, the, you, you don't want to tie a, 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 a Palomar knot on there just because of the way the it's set up. I just did two improved clinches on there. So I'll put it to the test, see if it holds up. It looks like it will. Um, Let's see, got the Canaan crankbait. Maybe a little too late to throw this, but I'm gonna go throw it around some riprap. It never hurts. Um, I've got that one on a cranking rod. And then the uh, Zodiac hybrid jig, I put the, uh, the KVD game hog on there. And I can do a couple, two or three things on it with it. I can, I can try to flip it in some cover and stuff like that. That head probably won't come through really thick cover too, but too good, but there's not a lot of that around here. So just in case I've got a, uh, a flipping rod it's set up uh, to switch over to that and, and flip some brush if I decide to go shallow. But uh, that's that. And I'm just going to take them out and fish them, see if I can catch a fish on each of them. You know, if I catch one on here, I did it, I, I doubled up. So, and I can only need to catch what, one, two, three, four fish, really. So, pretty cool. Well, let's see how it goes. All right, like with any new crankbait that I pull out of the box, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it out and make sure it runs true. Try to get to know what the wobble looks like. Got a good wide wobble and it runs pretty straight out of the box. So I won't have to make any adjustments to it. Kind of reminds me of a speed trap. Um, I can't remember what Jensen Lures I think makes it. Hey, but anyway, just reminds me of a speed trap, the body shape and the lip shot shape and stuff like that. A little bit different, a little bit bigger. Bill's a little bit different. So I'm just gonna run this rip wrap and see if I catch something. Now when you're running riprap, uh, you got two options. You can throw straight at the bank and bring it back to the boat, or you can get real close to that riprap and throw up and down it, keeping your bait in, a, in the strike zone a little bit longer. You know, throw it out at about a, you know, a little more than a 45 degree angle from the boat, or you can get right tucked up against the rocks. And the reason I chose this isn't just because it's got riprap. Um, I chose this area because the wind's been blowing into it for about five days. So there's tons of bait fish in the area and tons of fish. And it usually doesn't take long to find one. May not be big, but this time of year you put a crankbait in my hand and I'm gonna catch a fish. Look at that. Ouch, don't spine me. He just swung at it. Good sharp hooks. Hooked him in the cheek. That's one on the cannon crankbait. Man, I want to throw that all day now. <laughs> oh, 
there you go. <laughs> So, pay attention to the wind. Not just for the day you're fishing, but for the days prior to. There's one. I wasn't gonna miss that one. <laughs> the old walk down the boat hook set. How big he is. He's a decent size, it feels like at least. Yeah, he's good. A little keeper. Come up in here. There we go. Carolina rig. A little Z-Man worm. Two and a half pounder. Nice tournament fish. Pretty good. Let me see if I fired him up and throw something else in there. One. Come on in here. <laughs> oh, that took care of two of them right there. Got the little KVD Perfect Plastic Hog and the and the little jig head. I'll get the names out in a minute, but little fish, but it is a fish, and it took care of two of them. So. Oh man. So this was the Strike King KVD Game Hog. And I dipped the little tails in JJ Chartreuse JJ's Magic. And then the Freedom uh, Tackle Corporation Zodiac Hybrid Jig. Um, what I did is it came in Chartreuse and I just felt like that was too bright for what I was doing. I'm working in deep grass and things like that. And I'm, I'm sitting in 30 feet of water throwing into 20, 20 to uh, 20 to 15, I guess. So I took and I dipped the head in two different colors of JJ's, red and then blue. And it just subdued that color, made it kind of an orangish, oddball looking color. But anyway, subdued it enough to where I feel like it didn't spook the fish off in this deep, clear water. So um, it worked, it really did. Uh, you know, I'm, what else do I have left to do? I got to catch one on that TZ Swimmer. So let me play around with that for a little while. And if I do, I am set. <laughs> well, it happened again. I caught a fish on everything but one lure. It always seems to be one. I can't figure out what to do to get a fish to bite it. And this time it was the Gambler TZ Swimmer. And I can tell you exactly why. Fish in this lake are scared of bright yellow. <laughs> they like pearl colors. I got super, super clear water. Um, it's always that chartreuse bait that gets me for some reason. But anyway, it's a good little thing. It's a good little bait. Um, it's got a really good kick in action, real good swimmer. Um, it just, you know, maybe I could have used it as a trailer on a, uh, on a, a chatter bait or something like that or a swim jig if the fish were shallow, but they're not. They're uh, really, really deep. So anyway, so let's start from the beginning. The first fish I caught was on the uh, Canaan Lures uh, uh, Alosa Minnow. No, Alosa Minion. Little square bill crankbait. Uh, only took a few casts, as you guys saw. Uh, pretty cool. Good little crankbait, you know, cranking that riprap. Uh, it's always a good thing to do if the wind's been blowing in a while and it's good, you know, good little morning bite. Um, the next one was the Carolina rig. Um, and I used the, uh, the um, Invisa swivel is what I call it. It's called, yep. The, uh, use that little Invisa swivel right there for my Carolina rig. Now this thing's pretty cool. I mean, it really does work well. You just gotta remember to tie it. Uh, I used an improved clinch knot. Um, a Palomar knot probably wouldn't work because it wouldn't fit through those little bitty holes right there two, uh, two times. So, um, but it's a really good swivel. It worked. And the bait I was using um, was the Z-Man Sawtail Worms. Um, fantastic little worm. Uh, caught that real nice fish. Anyway, 
Let's see. And the next one. Where, oh, where are you? <laughs> Here it is. Uh, was on the Zodiac Hybrid Jig uh, from Freedom, the Freedom Tackle Core. Um, I've changed hooks on it, of course, but this is an absolutely cool little thing. Um, I mean, look, I, I can switch hooks out pretty quick and try other things. And what I had to do to, to catch a fish on, uh, on this one, once again, it came in bright, bright yellow, is I dipped it in JJ's Magic and got that color subdued and then put on a... Uh, a uh, three aught or was a three aught? No, it was a four aught um, offset round bend hook, and then put that uh, that KVD uh, game hog on there. Um, I don't think I have one out up oh, here. There, you know, put that KVD uh, the perfect plastic game hog on there. Didn't take long to catch a fish on it, but I really like this jig head. It was a half an ounce, um, and caught that other fish. I just wish I could have dang finished it again. So eventually it'll happen. I've just got to. I've got to leave um, early. I could stay out here all day, but I've got to go pick up my boat. Um, it's finally in. Unfortunately, they didn't completely fix it, so that's going to be another freaking fiasco I've got to deal with. Um, let's see. That's about it for that. Um, other things that came in this little box uh, that I always forget to talk about um, is uh, this is the the thing about getting your your. Uh, your first box free, you know, call Mystery Tackle Box uh, and the and the or get online. The coupon code is get four ninety nine. Um, you always get a sticker, Mystery Tackle Box sticker. Um, I don't know if that's a sticker or not. Another picture of a of Car uh, Carl von Dibble. And uh, this talks about the MTB Slam. Uh, this is pretty cool. It makes me feel pretty good that this was my idea. Uh, MTV, MTV Slam, you win $250 in baits um, if you can complete it, uh, prove it on video, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, shoot, that's a lot of baits, 250 bucks. And then you can also win a free month of uh, free month subscription. What else is in here? I think that's it. Sometimes they have coupons in here. I mean, it's all kinds of stuff, but it's pretty cool. Um, check it out. It's a great way to try out new baits. Um, you know, try out things that you never, never tried before. I've never, I mean, I've had these in my garage for, oh, well, since the classic, since February, and haven't, uh, haven't used them. Of course, mine are green pumpkins. So, um, if I had one suggestion, would be to the companies that, uh, that uh, send these baits to Mystery Tackle Boxes, uh, send them in some, some uh, all-around good colors uh, that, uh, that can be used in several different uh, types of water. Uh, you know, get them into these guys' hands and, and, and give them something that can. And, you know, has a better chance of catching fish in clear water and in muddy water and so on and so forth. I know that's hard to do, but, uh, but uh, don't just send uh, whatever colors you can't sell. Send the ones you can sell, and, uh, and you'll eventually sell some more. But uh, like I always say, visit BassResource.com for the answer to all your questions about bass fishing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel called Fluke Master. Sub subscribe to this channel called Fluke Master Reviews. Um, check out uh, the, some of the guys that I'm, I'm affiliated with. Um, I'll put their, their links down in the description, but uh, a lot of good things are happening right now, but get out on the water, enjoy your day of fishing, try out Mystery Tackle Box, it's a pretty cool little deal, and, uh, and have a great day.